Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, this is my second video for the night and going to be the last one for a couple days. Of course, unless something drastically changes and I need to let you guys know in the next 24 to 48 hours. So, um, the second video is more of an informative as far as the facts and things. I know I posted three or four days ago that I would tell you guys the four phases uh, that Effidex takes your body through. So, I'm back to do that with the help of a ta-da, a cheat sheet. Um, I did take 99% of this information off of the FUDEX website. Um, however, there are a couple slang words in here that obviously you guys will be able to pick out that I've read through other people's journals. So anyway, I definitely wish anybody who's going through this the greatest of luck. And for anybody who is checking this video out and has not been diagnosed with skin cancer, you're here for support, you're here for whatever reason, you just stumbled across this, please. For, for heaven's sake, please use sunscreen. It's a very simple uh, two minute procedure that you do every morning to slap it on your skin before you step out of the house. It can make a significant change in, in your life and the outcome and bring upon great health. So yeah, first off, let me tell you guys that I did find out um, that FUDEX has a 93% success rate. And I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, that in itself is amazing. That's a very high success rate as far as a cancer treatment goes. So anytime that you feel like stopping your treatment, you feel like you can't go on, you're bleeding, you're cracked, you're raw, you're burning, you're itching, and you just don't want to do it anymore, just remember, push through to doctor's orders. Keep going with the doctor's orders. They know what they're doing, and there's a reason that there's a 93% success rate. So. Good luck on your journey, and I'm hoping that we can help you guys through this. Anyway, let me go ahead and tell you guys the four stages or phases of FUDEX. Uh, the first one's called the early inflammatory phase. Um, what the website said was it's the first week you will experience mild to moderate inflammation, and that comfort, as far as the pain level goes, will vary for each individual. Um, personally, I've been able to maintain this week um, with a significant amount of ibuprofen, about 800 milligrams every uh, six to eight hours if needed. And then a couple of times I had, I had to take um, narcotic pain medication. So that's up to each individual physician out there. So stay on top of that with your doctors. Um, the second one is the inflammatory phase. And it said during the following weeks, the redness and swelling will increase greatly. At this point, you may also have serious burning, which a lot of people out there refer to as the acid feeling, um, worsening inflammation, and possibly crusting of lesions. And I don't know if you guys seen this um, previously, like my first couple videos, my hands were kind of very bumpy and scaly looking. Now through the treatment, I do have you know, a lot of crust. I don't know if you guys can see that, but eek. It hurts. <laughs> when it gets to that point, it is very uncomfortable. So, again, good luck. Um, the third one is the tumor disintegration phase. Um, website said, at this point, you will continue to have swelling, pain, redness, um, crusting, and possible cracking of the skin. Um, at this point, some people experience seeping or weeping of the lesions and your skin will start to slough off. Uh, yeah, that really sounds gross but um, yeah I guess it's something to look forward to because at that point you're probably almost done with your treatment if not completely done with it. Um, the fourth phase is the healing phase and this uh, what the website said um, once you've stopped treatment your new skin will continue to grow in where the other has fallen off and burnt off but like a lot of people have phrased it melted off not so much fun <laughs> and I, yeah. anyway um from what i've heard and read the first few days after you stop treatment are the worst the absolute worst and that is what i've read in everybody's blogs um granted i've not seen any recent journals or video blogs actually i've not seen but maybe just one video blog um on youtube about FUDEX. that was pretty funny ray so thank you you definitely brought out the lighter side 
Um, anyway, everybody that I've talked to has said that, not talked to you, everybody that I've read about has said that that was the absolute worst time. You know, 24 hours after stopping, um, just excruciating pain. So it's good luck with that. I wish you the best. I know that a lot of people also stated that by that time their doctors had prescribed them um, a topical steroid and that they'd figured out either like Eucerin or vitamin E or um, aqu Aquaphor, I think is what it's called. Yep, Aquaphor. It's right there, I promise. <laughs> anyway, um, they say that that all helps with the dryness. So in, in combination with um, the steroids and the Aquaphor, Eucerin, etc., vitamin E, and that's the way that you guys can keep your skin and, and the pain down. Um, I have heard on an up note that about four to five days after you stop treatment, the pain subside, subsides greatly um, and that you start to see a really good appearance in your skin every day. So like I said, um, I hope that that 93% success rate, on those days where you feel like you just can't go on, I hope you just keep thinking about that 93 keep that number in mind and um, push through because if I can do this you most certainly can so promise you biggest pud walking when it comes to pain so anyway I hope all this information helps you guys um, and then as in my previous video I did post my email so if anybody has any questions that you want to ask me personally without posting on the page feel free to hit me up and I will get back to you um, as early as possible. Just please in the subject line either put you know skin cancer or FUDEX or any kind of cancer you know whether it's breast or skin or lung or what have you. We're all in this together and um, with the help of God and Christ above we will make it. So thank you guys for stopping through again. I hope that this helps you guys a little bit. Um, I definitely helps the people Hope that it helps the people who are following my story understand um, as far as how I feel or what I look like during, during this whole process. I, I hope that those four stages help you understand why I might be a pain in the ass one day or smiling and giggling the, giggling the next. So again, let me tell you, I'm sorry that um, I'm kind of stuttering and sputtering out here, but I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go get these two things posted. I wish y'all the best of luck. I thank you greatly again for all the support. And um, as always, kicking some cancer ass 2011. God bless. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.